regular day, running your errands, doing what you do, and you would never know that this was going on. Because this is where this is in the city. Wicked, were you down there? No, no, but what I was going to say is that this is unacceptable. Wow. Well, they just gave Israel like $15 billion or something, so they didn't get their way. They need to give them more. Why not? Raise my property taxes. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll all just be homeless. Fuck it. Anything for the chosen ones, brother. You know that. You, wicked, you are chosen. Yeah, you yeah, and yeah. the dude holding the cat above me, y'all are chosen. Well, half, half, of, half of them is chosen. Half of them. Yeah, you're half chosen. Yeah, yeah that's enough. Oh, my God. I, I was told about the 1% rule, one drop rule or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you got like a couple drops because <laughs> you, you, you're a sun burrito. One drop yeah. rule is really only like glider when you fix with glider salute yeah. to bud green man he says i got five on it because brown sugar wasn't on the panel more of that oh, please man. oh man man no brown sugar is one of the superstar man she i think she's a star man oh, the man. memphis the memphis mammy yeah <laughs> brown black sugar. black fi- black flight boon shika <laughs> oh you don't let her you talking she might pop up on you <laughs> yeah i'm trying i'm trying to summon her she like oh um, she she like candy man man. Oh, yeah, you got if you stand in front of the mirror and say purple drink three times. <laughs> Yikes! And I don't brown sugar. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Enough. We are coming together. We are saying our kids need to stop bad. Let's ask our community to come and say enough is enough. Stevie Moore is. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he got that. Memory, somebody, right? somebody had to say it. <laughs> he he's speaking facts, honestly. Yeah, I mean facts, man. Yeah, slave facts. He, man. he he's saying a lie, but at the same time, he's not saying shit. Yeah, man. Um, let me see. Wow, this was two hours ago. I was checking to see if it was gonna say eighteen fifty six, but this was actually only two hours ago when this story dropped. Um. God damn, brother. Why don't we out there say enough is enough? We are coming together. We are saying our kids need to stop dying. Let's ask our community to come and say enough is enough. Stevie Moore is the founder of Freedom from Unnecessary Negatives, also known as FUN. He started it. <laughs> I could think of another. That's a shitty ass name, man. <laughs> Freedom from Unnecessary Negatives. You're doing way too much with that. He was like, yeah, that's too, that's that's too confusing for some people. Right. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> this is, you gotta say it like, like he said, fun. fun. That's why he got two. Right. This is <laughs> fucking yo, yo, fun. Yo, he came up with the, with the word fun, and then he's like, okay, let's make an acronym with fun. Why can't we get freedom from unnecessary niggatry? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, yo, man. he had black, so he can say that, G. <laughs> Um, wow. Fun. Moore is the founder of Freedom from Unnecessary Negatives, also known as FUN. He started it after his own son was gunned down 20 years ago. Tonight, he's still fighting for change. All I see going on now in this community is a blame game. Police ain't doing what they ought to do. They, uh, uh, the district attorney's office ain't doing what they ought to do. Everybody's blaming everybody. The number of shooting incidents involving children in Memphis wasn't immediately available by Memphis police tonight, but WREG has reported on dozens throughout the year. The latest happening last night at the Sonic on Kirby Parkway in Hickory Hill. Surveillance video obtained by WREG shows a 17-year-old victim stumble into the parking lot as a group of teens run off. He later died at the hospital. And just last week, a 15-year-old was shot while selling water on the street in Whitehaven. His mother tells us he did this to make money because at 15, he's too young to have a job. He is still recovering from his injuries. Moore believes some of this violence is preventable. 
When I was coming up, the lady across the street said, boy, I'm going to tell your mama. I'm going to tell your daddy. It was the whole neighborhood watching. Some new house can get shot up next door and nobody sees nothing. He's calling on the community to look out and speak up if they know something. He says he believes this is the only way we can address the crime issue. Law enforcement can't be everywhere on every corner, but we can. The community can. Moore has set up an anonymous tip line for people who are uncomfortable calling the police. That number is 901-417-7361. I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3. Uh, Yo, I'll give him that. He's not wrong. Some people are outside. So there's plenty of eyeballs out there. <laughs> it sounds like he's going to get a lot done. Yeah, I'm optimistic about this, man. Um, maybe maybe this may be the thing that finally, you know, fixes the problem. Yeah, and then brown sugar.